Right, folks. I am sitting outside the Royal Oak in Rothley. Yes, Rothley, folks. Uh, I'm on the, squ the square, the green, the triangle, whatever it is. Got a few trees, got the old war memorial there. And I have just been sweating. I have just been to Rothley Fisheries. Um, it's a, it's a fish and chip shop in Rothley, obviously, that's why it's called Rothley Fisheries. Um, I've heard quite a few good things about it. And I've had to come out here, I've had to meet somebody uh, and do some stuff. And I thought, I'm going to review the chip shop. I have had a mini fish and chips with mushy peas. It's a cod, it's a mini cod. There is not many places that do mini cod. And I do prefer cod. Um, there you go, it's just that kind of thing. Um, I'll excuse if there's any noises and stuff. I just thought I'd do it in the middle of like Rothley, so I just thought it'd be nice. Got the old roadworks up. I don't think any uh, village or town is complete at the moment without roadworks digging up the road and making life complete hell for the people who live there. Uh, this doesn't seem to be any planning at all. I know in Baron Saw they have decided to dig a, dig a complete road up just as the kids go back to school. It is complete mayhem. Mayhem, folks. It's unbelievable. I can't work out how these companies... Just plumb these... Anyway, back to the chips. Um, it cost me £6.10, and the chips do look very nice and golden. Look at that. Ooh. That. I'll tell you what, folks. That ain't a bad chip. It's really golden and crunchy on the outside, and inside it's really fluffy. That is awesome. Unfortunately, I did ask her to cover me chips with the peas. That are tremendous. That is gorgeous. Right, let's take a few more peas. Peas are, peas are nice, they're just a standard pea. But they're good, they're okay, there's nothing wrong with the peas, I can't fault the peas. Everything is, mmm, piping hot. They are really good. I'll tell you what, them chips are really. That I don't know. How they, I wonder what they cook them in. They seem like the old style fish and chip. Uh, well, the old style chip. They're really golden, crunchy. But lovely, light and fluffy on the inside. That's truth, I didn't think he was going to stop at them crossings then. Nearly cleared up some poor woman. Yeah, you have a look, gal. Gary's number plate. You get him. Aplant.com. www.aplant.com. He come flying up there then. Outside the old Rothley Baptist Church. I thought he got up. She weren't going to move though. Not unless you were coming off his bonnet. Right, let's get back onto the fish and chips. Uh, there's the fish. Can you see that? You can't see that, can you? Because it's too bright. There you go. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. That is good as well. Do you know what, folks? Hmm. I'm a bit disappointed. Because people tend to say, I only do good reviews. But the problem is, I knew Rothley Fisheries was quite a good chipper. And because I had to come and see somebody in Rothley today, I thought I'd just do it on the off chance. There you go, look at that. Oh, oh shit. Because I've got a hole, 
Crook Club. That's fell through the hole on my dashboard. Unbelievable. In the name of reviewing, I've got fish all down my bloody dashboard. I've got to clean it. So yeah, folks, I'm a bit disappointed because I wasn't... I thought I might be able to dumb this down a bit, say how good it was and how good I heard it was, but I'm disappointed because it ain't. But unfortunately, folks, I can't. It's on a nice tray, so it, you wrap them in paper sometimes and the paper all sticks to it. Greaseproof paper there, it's not supposed to stick. Everything sticks to it. I can't work that out. Oh, God. Now, folks, if you're also worrying about me diet... We're having salad tonight. So to make up the yin and the yang, it'll be salad. So this is, this is gorgeous. I honestly can't fault this. I can't fault this one bit. Which is annoying. Mm. Folks, if you've got to go, if you live in the Rothley area, go and give them a go. The chips are just so light and fluffy in the middle, I can't believe it. Mmm. In fact, I understand I have a, a big student following at Loughborough University. Respect, right? Because uh, if we didn't have the students at Loughborough, the town would just be a complete dead hole. Um, so if you've got students in Loughborough and you are looking for the fish, uh, some fish and chips that are nice and you fancy a ride out, uh, while one of you has a sensible non-alcoholic drink like a Coke, a Diet Coke or whatever. Why don't you come over to Rothley? They've got the Royal Oak here behind me. And they've also got the Woodman's down the road. And they've also got another one down there. I can't remember what it's called. So you could actually come in, do three uh, th do three pubs, um, go to the chipper. And, you know, that could be a quite a nice little night out just for something different. I think they do the old quizzes. The Woodman's is full of uh, rugby memorabilia because of the Tigers. So, do it. If you go into the fisheries, just say BVM sent you. I'm not after anything. I don't want free chips or out. I'd just like to know that I'm helping companies out. Some bloke having a fag outside. Happy goes. Right, folks. I'm going to leave this one here. But get yourself down road to the fisheries. On the uh, cross green, on the, the whatever it is. And get some. You won't be disappointed. Laters.